And we are back with more 6.5 live action here in Las Vegas at CES 2024. One of the biggest, most exciting things we've seen here uh, in it, I mean, you hear about the gadgets, the TVs, the cars, but PCs are back, baby. And Windows PCs, AI PCs, and I can't think of a better guest to have on here. Matt Barlow of Microsoft, how you doing, my friend? I am good, Pat, good to see you. Good to be here at CES. So isn't it great? And you know, both you, you and I have both lived through all these super cycles, whether it was like PC for internet and Wi-Fi, multimedia, uh, desktop to mobility and then thin mobility. And it's just like, here we are with uh, AI PCs. Pretty exciting. I, the word super cycle is it. I mean, yes. I, I can't think of a more exciting category right now yeah. than the Windows PC, especially yeah. when you're talking about AI PCs coming in and all running co-pilot experiences. Everybody wants it, everybody's talking about it, and I tell you the benefits to productivity, creativity, connecting with people you care about and, and yeah. searching in new ways, there's nothing better than co-pilot. Yeah, and, and what's interesting, I was uh, on a panel uh, with Pavan, yeah. with yeah. Microsoft, yeah. Your, your cohort there, and the cool part is you saw OEMs uh, on stage, HP, Lenovo, and Dell, that you know spend 364 days a year beating each other up, <laughs> uh, trying to build markets, but they were all on stage uh, uh, because they believe in the ecosystem, they need to come together, right, with Microsoft to build this. And the thesis, I think we both agree, and I called it on stage yesterday too, right. we are going to have a super cycle, here's when it's going to be and why, but the waters, ray, every, all the boats rise, right? That's kind of how this works, right? Yeah, that, that is the unique thing about the Windows ecosystem, and Microsoft, yeah. you know, leading it, along with other great brands that you talked about, HP, Dell, Lenovo, yeah. Surface, I mean, just great yes. brands that are bringing this stuff to market. And when our ecosystem gets behind something, like we're behind with Copilot and AI PCs right now, magic happens. Yeah. And to hear people and, and what they want to build and the yeah. demand that they're seeing, and to see the experiences we have with Copilot and software, marrying up to some of the hardware innovations in right. silicon and even the key, it, it, it feels like the beginning of a new era of the PC around AI and Windows and Microsoft have it. Yeah, and I love the instant, the physical instantiation of, of the co-pilot key and Microsoft doesn't make changes like that very often. I mean, what, once every 10 years or, or yeah. something like this, so, and it's not just because, I mean, it's mirroring the two, yeah. right? It's big, it's valuable to consumers, it's valuable to uh, business customers, and marrying that together with a physical instantiation, I, I think is, uh, is super important. So, I want to ask you about Surface. Yeah. How, how is Surface taking advantage uh, of the AI-ness yeah. here? You know, Surface is is the product that's built by Microsoft, specifically for Microsoft experiences. Yeah. So we are right at the center of it with, with these things, along with a lot of great OEMs. Yes. And when you look at some of the great experiences that we're going to be bringing out, uh, especially you think about now, we've got Copilot and Windows helping you be more productive. Copilot right. and Microsoft 365 helping you get more yeah. things done. Copilot and Designer helping you create with your own words. Yes. Um, the, the experiences are going to show up great on Windows 11. And, and we want Surface, again, to be one of those great brands where those surfaces yeah. shine through for people. And I think you're going to you're seeing that today where just tens you know tens of millions of people are using Copilot every single day. So what are they telling you about the experience and what dynamics like what are they doing are they happy or you know are they using their PCs more what are you seeing uh, up front yeah so the the thing that's neat about what copilot brings is that it's going to be unique for lots of people but we're seeing distinct themes and the theme that we're seeing right now is about 80% and a little north of that actually once they use copilot one time say they're never going to live without it. They're just never going to live without it. 75% of them are saying they're more productive because of it and their yeah. work quality is better. Right. What they're really doing is you're creating a draft faster, right, easier. You can change the tone of, of, a, of a note or a mail and get it just right. If you're looking for an image and you can't find it on the web, for, you can right. create it with your words. I mean, Pat, this stuff is super exciting. The thing that I like using most, and again, this is just my own personal uh, thing, is I miss a lot of meetings or I get distracted in meetings. Right. And we're finding people who use Copilot, especially in teams with summarization, can catch up on meetings they missed or didn't pay attention to four times faster than they typically would have before. Yeah, so 
n equals one, n equals two now, <laughs> right? Summary is key. And it's whether it's summarizing a Word document, a web page, a PDF, I'm all about summary. Not that I don't read long stuff. I mean, my company writes long research papers and I've written a couple too, but summarizing things at, 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 at at my point and what I do is is super uh, important. And I have to admit that when I need a graphic for, for something, I mean, I, I went out on Copilot and created a graphic for the next family vacation, yeah. which was, hey, we're gonna go to this city, this city, and city, create an image that represents all three cities. Super I think it put cool. uh, Eiffel Tower next to Big Ben, next to, anyways, uh, the creativity I'm, I'm pretty excited about too because I lack that, and if Copilot can help anybody like me who really isn't that creative, I think you know they're going to be all in. It's awesome, and and like you say, if you haven't tried it yet, you got to try it. You yeah. just have to, and it's available even on Windows 10 PCs right now. So get into Copilot, try it right. for the experiences, summary and and image creation in particular. I love, but there's so many other great capabilities in it. So uh, Pavan was on stage uh, yesterday at at the Intel event, the AIPC event, and. Um, he said some really great stuff that talked about operating system integration, uh, big NPUs. He was talking about the future uh, and, and what to expect. And, and it was funny at the very end, uh, after he said, I'm like, listen to what he said and replay what he said. We know the awesomeness that's there today, but think about what could be next. So what is next and maybe taking what Pavan said and, and equate that down to maybe experiences or what it means to the ecosystem. The, the thing I, I love about what we're doing right now is when we announced the Copilot capabilities and really focused in on the one application you can get to, unlocking all of the AI capabilities and the stuff you use every day, yes. Windows, Microsoft 365, Bing, Edge, Teams, more applications coming, uh, that then hardware begins to catch up. The hardware key, I think, being able to invoke that and, and, and putting it at people's fingertips, the first time we've ever changed any key on the Windows PC in 30 years is amazing. Right. But the real innovation is coming with silicon integration and optimization of Windows for that particular silicon. Right. And when Intel and, and AMD and Qualcomm start talking about AI PCs, the thing they're talking about isn't the CPU. CPU is super important, powerful, getting better all the time. It isn't even the GPU, graphic performance, awesome, getting better all the time. It's this advent of the NPU. Right. The NPU is the thing you're going to want to get. Yeah. It's going to fire up these AI experiences that are here today right. and are still coming in the future in ways that don't tax the CPU, That's right. don't tax the GPU, and extend your battery life. Right. And if, you, if the one the thing that I, I love when we've seen that before is when we run a Windows a Studio FX. And if you're running Windows Studio effects with an NPU, your CPU and GPU aren't taxed at all. You can keep having that Teams call and you can still do really productive stuff right. on a thin and light PC. That's just the beginning. These new experiences that are gonna keep coming out for AI and they're all gonna be driven by Copilot are gonna be better on PCs with an NPU. NPUs are great today, they're gonna get even better in the future. Now I'm super excited about that and um, I'm looking at this in terms of six month increments of goodness. And when's the last time you knew every, every six months something incredible was going to come out? And um, some people are like, well, just wait. I'm like, no, because you're getting awesome today. And you could wait around forever, but people need to get in now, yeah. get the experience, right. and just know that each generation, kind of like technology, is going to get better, yeah. right? So. Matt, I really appreciate your time, and I'm super excited uh, about what Microsoft is doing in Windows and in enabling the ecosystem and with Surface. I cannot wait to see a Microsoft-designed Surface around, fully around Copilot and, and what you're going to do with that in the future. So, Stay thanks tuned, for coming Matt. on. It's going to be a yeah. great future for sure. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. So folks, thank you for tuning in. You heard it straight. We talked to Intel today. We talked to Microsoft today about AI PCs and what the future holds. Thanks for tuning in. Take care.